Hey, what's going on? In my last video, I shared a little bit about my one of my joys, which was basketball, and I told you that I'd be sharing more about wrestling. And so on today's video, I'll be talking about how wrestling has brought me joy. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. My name is Alex McDonald, and I'm from the crossroads of America here in Indiana. I'm currently in my office, and I thank you so much for watching this video. I want to talk about wrestling. So ninth grade, I realized, man, I'm no good at basketball. I'm almost blind in my right eye. I'm called the sharpshooter. Can't make a shot if my life depended on it. I'm short. I'm just going to, I'm going to try something different. So somehow, I was invited to try out for the wrestling team. Had a, quite a few friends that were on the wrestling team and uh, probably had all this, this anger inside of me that I thought maybe I'd be able to channel this anger out here. But I was really, really soft, and so that anger didn't really come out. I just uh, had a determination to try to become good, and I was willing to work hard. And I remember most kids that were in wrestling probably started at like four or five years old, and here I was starting in ninth grade, and I was going to wrestle 103. I was weighing about 108, 109. And then the, the trainer came, they, they did our fat body test or body fat test. And they said, you can't lose anyway. You're at 3% body fat. And if you get down to 103, you'll be dead. And I was like, oh man, so I got to wrestle 112. So I'm wrestling 112. And then the 119 pounder isn't able to, to wrestle for this, this match. And so I bump up to 119 and cover his spot because I was JV at 112. And I wrestled Pat McLean, who got fifth in state the year before. And I was like, oh crap, my first varsity match. And I'm wrestling somebody that went to state, that, that placed in state. I just want to do my best. So I go out there, my shoulder is a little bit hurt. And we're wrestling, I get through the first period. And at the end of the first period, he does a suplex, slams me on my shoulder. And the ref calls it unsportsmanlike conduct and gives me two points. I'm like, I scored, I got a couple escapes, I got these penalty points, I'm not pinned. Let's go, let's go, let's do this. Second period starts, blow the whistle, and within about 45 seconds, I'm pinned. But I was so proud of myself that I made it to the second period against the state finisher. And then I went on to wrestle several years uh, all through high school. My junior year, my grandpa got sick, and my mom made the decision that we're going to move out to Phoenix. And we end up in Glendale, Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, kind of the west side. And I go to Maryville High School, and I had no idea any of the history of this school or anything to do with anything. Um, the state the state was a, a big wrestling state. There's lots of uh, good wrestlers from that state. But at that school was two of the best wrestlers in all of Arizona State wrestling history. Angel Cejudo, Henry Cejudo. They had five state championships uh, the, the year that I went there. They got fifth in state because these five wrestlers did so well in the 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 team tournament that they scored really high. And Henry Cejudo was a freshman that year. He won state. His sophomore year, he won state in Arizona. And then he moved out to Colorado to the Olympic Training Center and was Sarah McMahon's uh, training partner. And he went to high school in Colorado, got two state championships there. And so I got to train with, learn from, be around Henry Cejudo, who was a four-time state champion, who was Olympic gold medalist, and is a two-time MMA champion. Plus, he's been on their, their television show. He's, he's won champions as a coach. And just a phenomenal individual. And I learned so much from him. Training with him. Learning the mindset that he had. And I, I figured out that I had a loser mindset for most of my life. And he taught me many lessons about how to be a champion. And I, I hope to carry those lessons on for, for many years. I hope to, to maybe be in touch with him again someday because he really made a difference in my life and wrestling really made an impact on me. And then I blew my knee out, ended up quitting, moving back to Indiana. And then my senior year, I, I started wrestling. And at Maryville, we would train until about 7 p.m. And we would train our guts out. Moved to Indiana. We got this new coach. And we were training until like 5 p.m. And I'm like, huh. This is easy. This is this is kind of silly. We go to our first tournament. Everyone loses every match. And I'm like, I'm going to go make some money. I'm not going to wrestle. But it's something I definitely miss. I want to wrestle some freestyle tournaments. 
try to get my kids into wrestling. They didn't really like it. But it's a sport that I definitely fell in love with, that definitely brought me lots of joy. I learned to work hard through wrestling. I learned to set goals. I learned that the competition is myself and that what I do in the dark will be seen in the light and that any success takes years of preparation, takes the right mindset, it takes training with the best. And so I found that through the Life Platform and I'm, I'm so excited I can take those lessons from wrestling and apply it to life and I hope that they continue to bless me and I can bless others. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you check the last video, the next video. Stay in touch. Well, we'll see you real soon. We'll see you at the top. Love you guys.